Right now, I'm so excited for two things. A, Sydney World Pride 2023, and B, to show you how to make some beautiful TikTok content in Canva. Let's give your socials the glow up in just a few clicks. Now I'm ready, are you? Hi darlings, I'm Jojo Zaho, a proud Birapai Waramai queen. Sydney World Pride is right around the corner and I know you're all wondering, what does that mean for me? Well first, I'll be at Fair Day, hosting endless parties, several rounds of drag bingo, and then finally judging a drag pageant. As you do, because who better to judge someone than a queen? All this leads to a very, very busy few weeks on my calendar. Don't get me wrong, I ain't mad at it, hey the best time of year, but it is hectic. And I don't want to stop connecting or let my feed be neglected like my attention to detail on that one and only episode I was in on Drag Race, Down Under. I'll need to be doing all the things and posting all the things all at the same time, capturing, designing and uploading faster than a 30 second costume change. So today, I'm going to show you some fast TikTok templates, tips and tricks to take your social game up a notch without costing you a pretty penny. But first, I have a very important question for you. Have you subscribed to Canva's YouTube channel? Canva is a proud partner of Sydney World Pride and we're dropping a bunch of related content as well as new videos with tips and tutorials every week. Okay, like a drag queen in front of a pile of discount sequins, let's jump on in, shall we? First, I want you all to know that you never have to start any Canva fabulousness with a blank page. For TikTok, Canva has a ton of great templates that will help you put your content together in a flash. Search for a template from the homepage and see what grabs you. Another great trick is to make some cheat sheets that you can use on the fly. Here's a quick sticker sheet I whipped up earlier with some of my favorite pride elements from the Canva library. Play around with search terms and bring in your elements and be sure to view the full collection. I can keep this handy and add these bad boys to any of my designs. Next up, I've been thinking about designing my own logo, babe. Why be basic when you can be a whole brand? I'm going to start with my name on a blank page. That's always a good place to start. Now let's find some fun fonts. I want two, one for each of my faces. I like these bright and bold options and like anything great, it's simply a matter of styling. We can really customize these by tweaking angles, letters, spacing and size. I'm adding some movement though. The logo is starting to look very sharp. I'll also look for a graphic to add some sparkle. And now a quick tweak of the colours. And I think we're almost there. This design is pretty much ready. I can export this as an SVG file with a transparent background and then use it on any number of my designs. Now we're getting there. I think the next thing I'll create is a video outro. Love to show something personal and fun at the end of my TikToks. I'll start with a mobile template and look for a beautiful color background. First things first, I'll upload the logo I made earlier. Because it's an SVG file, I can change the colors to white. Fab! I'll drag in the subtle and unassuming snapshot that I may or may not have prepared earlier. And from the Elements tab, I'll create a circle frame. I can layer these up with more circle shapes.
These can be rotated to create a great effect. Now I'm becoming a real focal point, which seems correct. I'll position everything neatly on the page. I'm going for a simple and eye-catching composition where everything fits neatly together. And why not add a few sparkles? I'd love to flesh this out a little bit though. Take the opportunity to really promo my platforms. So I'll duplicate this page and make some adjustments. Canva has a library full of icons, so I'll pop these in along with my handles. Now flicking between the two pages, I think some animations would be amazing. In Canva, you can animate individual elements of a design, whole pages, as well as the transition between two pages. Let's start with some nice detailing on the hero image. And also the logo. Then we can select and add animations to the other parts of the design. I'll go ahead and add an animation to the second page too. Now for the cool bit, I'll prop in a transition between the two pages called Match and Move. This one creates the movement between the object from one page to the next. It's better if I show you the results. I'll set the page duration and let's preview this. See that? Magic. But remember, this is a busy time for me. Like me at a buffet, I'm literally pulled here, there and everywhere. Girls gotta eat. I love running around, chatting about and recording everyone, but as much as I love Canva, I can't be spending all my precious World Pride time with my head in my phone, editing and designing stuff up. Quick video vox pops and vids make for easy social content. It's energetic and my followers love it. Some on-brand graphics will tidy up my videos. Let's give it a go, shall we? For these, I'll create a label where I can type in a name or a caption. I'll find a suitable shape and add in some text. Then customize the font a little bit. And I can tweak the shape too. This is a cool trick. If I group these together, it's now an editable graphic and will adjust to the length of my text. Now just for some extra graphics and of course a little bit of glitter to bring my content to life. My final design though is the pièce de résistance. I have this concept of running around and playing a game of this or that with festival goers. I designed up these amazing pages that can be in the background of my talking heads. My plan is to make these like a green screen background using Canva's video background remover. I'm sorry, what? Video background remover. You can, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. Video background remover. Let me show you using the casual and impromptu video of myself. I simply drop the video on top of my design. Tap to select and tap this magic video background remover button. It's as magical as me. Now darlings, this is most definitely a pro and Canva for Teams feature. So if you want this magic at your fingertips, you need to subscribe, just saying. Now I feel ready to go. I might be in the Uber on my way home, or taking a break from the stage, or rubbing shoulders with my favorite queens. But I can simply grab my phone and whip up some beautiful designs and create my trademark fabulous content for all five of my screaming fans. Hi mom. Tell me, are you inspired? What was your favorite design from this video? But before you go, darlings, I just have one important question. Did you find this video helpful? You've made it to the end, so I'm assuming yes. So check out the playlist because it's full of top tips so you can become a Canva master. Here are some of the recent faves. We release new videos weekly and I'd hate for you to miss out. 
So like and subscribe to our channel before you head off. And I'll see you at the parade. Come say hi.